Hello, I'm Chris Bin, and welcome to Poker Room Review, your guide to live poker rooms all across the world. In each episode, we review a live poker venue, discussing the important things you need to know when planning your next poker destination. For each venue, we review a range of characteristics, including location and access, game options, service and experience, and rag and rewards. We also discuss any rules, quirks, and issues relating to each location. Today, we're at the Voyager Card Room in Cebu City, Philippines. Cebu City is situated in absolutely stunning island paradise in the center of the Philippines. The island has absolutely everything you'd want in an exotic adventure holiday in a lush tropical city. It also has a card room, so let's get into it. Category 1, Location and Access. Voyager Card Room is located in Mandu City, Cebu, a short drive from the city centre and about 20 minutes drive from the island's main airport. Cebu can be flown to directly from much of Asia as well as the Middle East and thus you do not require to come from Manila but of course inexpensive flights run between the two cities throughout the day. Many accommodation options are available and getting around the city is really easy and quite inexpensive with a taxi ride around the city usually costing no more than five US dollars. That said, for reasons that we'll come to later, it really pays to find a hotel short walking distance from the venue. The card room has good visibility and easy access. You don't need membership to play and chip runners will take your cash from the table. Wait times are also reasonable, no more than around 20 minutes, even at the busiest times. However, the greatest draw for this location is the island itself, a majestic tropical paradise where you can snorkel with sea turtles, swim with whale sharks, and embark on adventure canyoneering in the warm freshwater rapids. Overall, Cebu has all the things people love about the Philippines, the great people, fresh food, adventure landscapes, and none of the drawbacks like pollution and traffic congestion. Voyager is not exactly in the middle of the town square next to the great malls, but it's not hard to get to either. For location and access, three and a half stars. Category two, game options. At Voyager, live cash games are the norm. Occasionally, well-advertised tournaments will run, but this is always an individual event, usually not a full series. That being said, for a modestly sized card room, it offers a surprising array of stakes, everything from about 50 cent $1 US equivalent right up to the $5, $10, which is an uncapped game, and the stack sizes are usually around 5,000 US dollars each. Moreover, the buy-in ranges are a bit more generous than at other venues, with the capped games allowing buy-ins for up to around 500 big blinds. That being said, there is one major drawback, which is that Voyager opens around 3 p.m. every day, with the games not getting up till about 4 p.m. Now, we've been told that other venues in Cebu will open soon. However, at the time of recording, there's no other live cash games in the city, meaning you'll need to fill up your day with other adventure activities while you're here. In any case, Voyager Card Room is surprising given its size that it offers some genuinely big games, one of the few in the Philippines, but hours aren't great and tournament players are out of luck. Three stars. Three, service and experience. Service and experience is generally positive except for one inexcusable drawback. First, there is much to recommend it. Voyager staff are diligent and professional. The room is fairly clean and staff will bring you free food and non-alcoholic beverages. They will also manage food deliveries should you want something from the outside. And uniquely in the Philippines, the in-house coffee is actually quite decent. Seats and tables are comfortable and they even make allowances for guests and partners to sit in as well. Dealers are skilled and reasonably good at directing play. Massages are available and the tables and overall decor are quite nice and aesthetic. It can get a little stuffy when the room is full, and during our visit it seemed as though the air conditioning filters were overdue for a clean. However, Voyager has one massive catastrophic drawback which they absolutely do need to fix. The card room has a single men's lavatory. I don't mean a single commercial men's bathroom, but a single cubicle. That's why it really pays to have a hotel within a short walk of the venue so you can duck out when you need. One can understand working with the space you have, but that's really not okay. They need to invest in expanding those facilities. That being said, aside from the startling drawback, there would be little to mark it down. It's comfortable, friendly, professional, and a smoke-free environment. Still, the limited bathrooms and short hours really is a problem. Three stars. Four, rake and rewards. Rake is high here, and while there is presently little competition, given how much local wages in the Philippines are, this is simply excessive. 
The 1-3 equivalent rakes in 10% capped at four big blinds and dealers are still accepting tips. It's difficult to see how operating costs at the venue in this modest part of town can really justify this. When I compare this to expensive world cities like London or even Perth, it's impossible for me to find a justification. I have seen worse given the service is complimentary and they also offer a decent bad beat jackpot, but I cannot look past this aggressively greedy charge for their play. For rake and rewards, two stars. And finally, rules and quirks. At Voyager Casino, there are a few things to be aware of. First, at the cash tables, when all active players are all in, players turn their hands face up, much like it is in a tournament. Also, there's no such thing as a dead small blind. Should the small blind not be present, the next hand will pay two big blinds, and the following hand, the button, will then pay a small blind. Yes, this can get a bit confusing. Other than that, things are pretty standard. Under the gun straddles are permitted. Players can run it multiple times all in, although few seem to do so. The high line of the venue is definitely the big uncapped game, where literally millions of pesos exchanged every session. The table draws a crowd, so be aware that if you choose to sit at the table, it's not going to be a quiet session, but a rowdy party. Overall, if you can stomach the rake at Voyager, it's a fine place to play. My strong recommendation is that you do visit Cebu just for the experience of the adventures that are offered around the island. And if you want to stop at Voyager while you're here, so much the better. But until new rooms open up, the local poker scene just isn't big enough to justify Cebu as a standalone poker destination. Overall, three stars. We review new poker rooms regularly, so if you found value in this content, please hit the like and subscribe buttons because that's the only way YouTube knows this is the case. Also, if you have access to any Facebook groups or poker forums, please consider sharing this video because getting more views is the only way we can create more content. In the meantime, have you been to Voyager Card Room in Cebu? If so, what did you think? Is there any recommendations you'd like to include? I'm sure everyone would appreciate it down below. If you want to, you can check out other reviews right now. Otherwise, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.